Okay, Debbie, you got this. Someone's up here. Maybe they know what happened down there. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Oh, yeah, oldie. His name's Khalid. Oldie McOlds a lot. Hey. You wish to know more about me? <laughs> it's been so long that I can barely remember my own story. I have wandered the deserts of this land and others for many thousands of years. Am I immortal? Truly, I do not know. I haven't had the courage to test the hypothesis. Of course, the fact that I still stand, albeit with some difficulties, points to yes. Some have written of me, and some of what is written might even be correct. I wouldn't know. I haven't checked. All you need to know is that I'm still here because there's still evil here. And until evil has been vanquished, I do not intend to give up neither life nor breath. I am, as you may have surmised, a stubborn old bastard. I like him. I like stubborn old bastards. I've witnessed Egypt change. From an empire of untold power and fabulous riches into a nation descending into chaos. But through it all, it is Egypt's people that have brought this land back from the brink, from succumbing to greater evil, and from losing its way. Even here, it is only through the resistance of those who oppose the cult of Aten that there's still time to save Egypt and the world. This was my first home, and it shall be my last, God willing. The Romans are restless in their graves. I hear them every night in my dreams. Their whispers are insistent. The ancient Romans, child. Legionaries of the Roman Empire. We get all sorts. They were part of a crumbling empire, worshipping a dying god. Deus Sol Invictus. The unconquered son. <laughs> the irony. As Constantine christened Rome, the cult was dissolved and they scattered. The most zealous fled here to this valley to unite with those who shared their beliefs, the servants of the Aten, the sun god. It's no coincidence that they both worship the scorching sun. Remember this, it might serve you in the future. We were blessed with fortune. It could have been the end of everything we know, of this world and others, but instead, our enemies failed. Thanks to the Maria and the Sentinels who watch over the hidden city of Artem. He's a green green eyes. Mm. Destroyed, and a cataclysm was avoided. Sorry, the few who weird. survived Sorry. fled south, but their dead were left. I mean, you're not wrong. So, with the went new south, dawn they of Artem upon us, their bodies rise from the earth to join the dark disciples and their black pharaoh. The Romans are restless, and they must once more be stilled. Get to it. Now! What, are you not used to being told what to do, child? Go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> okay, fine! Okay! <laughs> Jeez. I mean, you, you really do got to work on, like, 
engaging in the conversation, Debbie. I mean, you didn't give him any... Cue. Well, like, nope. You, you didn't give him, like, any cue that, you know, you were listening or acknowledging what he was saying. Well, like, most of the time people don't give me a chance to get a word in edgewise. <laughs> well, you, you, gotta, you gotta take the initiative. Have some confidence in yourself, know. Sometimes girl. It feels like when I'm, like... Sometimes it feels like when I'm not using telepathic communication that I, like... That there's like a disconnect between my mouth and my brain. Like I, I hesitate just a bit too long. Oh, okay, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Like you should, like I, I'm just no good, you know, when I'm actually, you know, talking to people. I have, I, I can. I'm finding my strength in intimidation is being strong and silent. Yeah, it's kind of like me. Like I find that like. Um, well, not exactly strength and intimidation, but, I mean, there are a certain amount of people who like, you know, guys who are kind of a little afraid to speak. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so the Ro did the Romans mummify their dead? Maybe, or... Like, because these are a lot of fucking... But these ones were rejected. They could not join the Legion. They, they were rejected Legionaries. Huh, you know, I, I don't know. But I know that, like, the Romans allowed, you know, their territories to continue their religious practices. So, I mean, maybe. So these guys came south from the main Roman Empire. Yeah. When, uh, when it turned to Christianity with Deus Sol Invictus. You know, know anything about Deus Sol Invictus? A little bit. More... Can you look it up? Yeah, uh -uh. Here. <laughs> uh, let's see what's going on here. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's basically like Sol Invictus was, you know, like the official, you know, god, you know, pre-Christian god of the Roman Empire. Really? It's kind of, yeah. It was basically, you know, I mean, basically like up until, you know, up until Constantine came along, he was like... You know their, you know their flagship god. Huh. The thing is, it's uh, sun cult priest. Yeah. You gonna say something? Well, give me a second. I wasn't expecting to have to do re uh, to have to do research today. I always but, ask you to do research. I know, and I never expect it. I'm. I should really get better at expecting it. It's kind of like the solar cult was specifically, you know, con you know, uh, connected to the you know to the emperor. Towards a feast of blood. Oh god! Well, okay. Okay. Well, these ones are talking. Yeah, these these mummies seem to be a cut above the ones outside. Yeah. The thing is, I mean, they're not really much of a chat. They're not like they're not like you know. Oh, okay. That might. That's a little. That's a little more than I want to deal with right now. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. The interest. I handled it though. The interesting thing is that Sol Invictus was wasn't the sun. You know, technically. Really. Like. Like there was, you know, there was Sol. You know, obviously, and then there was Sol Invictus. So, I mean, it's basically like, you know, if you wanted to, like, if you wanted to create your own, you know, uh, religion, and you basically just said, okay, we, you got Jesus, we've got Super Jesus, like Simon Magus. Yeah. I know there's, I've heard that there's, there were cults related to him. I don't know much about the guy, but except the name. But yeah, it is kind of similar to that, you know, like taking an existing religious figure and basically saying he's even more badass and directly related to the, you know, to the ruler of the, uh, you know, the Empire. Oh, I've never seen a mummy up close in the light that looks this big. Yeah. So I did not realize. Oh. Oh, God. Haha. <laughs> she get around that shield. <laughs> it's 
not exactly a phalanx, guys. <laughs> you can see straight through him. Oh, oh shit. The Soul Invictus took the mummification knowledge of their elder sister cults and tried to replicate the process and perhaps improve it. Mummy's there 11. is dangerous wisdom there, sweetling, if you dare to prod it. It requires a fresh corpse infected by the filth. It then requires the special embalming fluid of the Soul Invictus of the past. Once this is poured down the cadaver's throat, it only takes 3,000 years or so. How does one make the time fly? Huh. What? Yeah, that's... Are they just telling me to do a, to do, do a dark ritual? I think so. I think... I, I don't think the bees have your, have your best intentions in mind. Hmm, this looks important. Yeah, let's... It spins. It's spinning. Is it a, what? Wait, hold on a second. It's got a little, it's got a little mustache. No, it's. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! It's hypnotic. It's, it's a sun. Oh my god, look at that. With sunspots. What the fuck? The power of the sun in liquid form. Oh, OJ, soda, purple stuff. <laughs> Sunny D! Okay, what's going Um, oh, I... Um, they seem to have taken issue. Yep, I think you you done pissed off the Roman mummies. This place must have been really impressive in its prime. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still pretty impressive now. Okay. Oh. Okay. You're gonna bring it. Bring it! Challenge me one at a time. That's the Roman way. <laughs> well, come on. You gotta put on a good show. <laughs> You want it next? All right. Ah, I hate this mummy curse shit. Mm. I mean, maybe don't touch like cursed mummy shit. No, like oh, you... mummies curse you when you fight them. Okay, mm. that's something I'm learning. Oh, okay, yeah, that that makes sense. Horrible sense. Primus Ordo. Primus Ordo. First Order? I think so. Unless like, unless, like, that's just Latin being tricky. First, yeah. Like, First Order or First Rank. So... Miridus. They only had like six names in <laughs> ancient Rome, so. Yeah, yeah. You had to like earn your other names. A name that was wasn't the same as literally everybody else. 
Oh, and they, they named they, you know, the kids. They were named with like a number after it. Oh like. yeah. So <laughs> wait. Okay. So. So if he was so Invictus. Mm-hmm. Was he the unconquered son? Or, like, was he unconquered by the sun? So, yeah. Sorry, it, it it was a it was a common epithet. So you'd also have like Jupiter Invictus mm. or Mars Invictus, just basically means like the you know the the undefeated. That's a that that is a big boy. Yep. Whoa. Fuck. Ah, get out of the way. You're right there, the unconquerable son. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, hey. Okay, oh, no, what the fuck is this guy? That's cheating, guys. Yeah, I guess they decided to stop, you know, playing fair. Yeah. I don't know. He looks like some kind of... Some kind of mutant, maybe. Maybe... Well, this was like a filth cult, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Maybe this is like the equivalent of those filth... You know, those Hulk zombies. Yeah, but oh my god, look at it! Does he have like spikes driven? He had, oh, he has spears driven into oh, him. Oh god! Fuck! Did he just get them in there? I mean, when he's dead, they don't bother him as much. Holy shit! Maybe the maybe. Look at his face! It's all, like... It doesn't even look like a human yeah. skull. What kind of skull is that? I don't know. It looks like a lizard man. You know, that's like... It's, it's like when Kirk fought the Gorn. Remember some things that look kind of like that? Though I think their snouts are more pronounced. Yeah. They were in the... Uh, it was hard to tell, because it was in the uh, dark warehouse. Maybe you just thought they had, like, crocodile heads. I don't know. Should we make a joke about Gods of Egypt, or is just mentioning that movie a joke in itself? A joke in... Uh, save that for later. Okay. You don't. You want. You want to make that joke until, until the right time. Yeah, you're right. Just like the pyramid scheme joke. Yes. And the mummies alive references. Ah, uh, fucking hell. I mean, thank God we found that oasis. Yeah, yeah, we had to get that one out of the way. Shit. Cell Invictus had its heyday in Rome until Constantine the rise of Christendom. After that, they struck off to Africa to form their own empire. With 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 blackjack and hookers. Ha! <laughs> Basically, yeah. Along the way, they came in contact with with Athenus, inspired one hell of a fun in the sun party. We don't think e Egypt was ever Invictus's final destination. I got some disp disturbing reports coming out of Congo, so let's assume we haven't seen the last of Doric columns. Khalid, the guy's 3,500 going on 90. Get what you can for him before he keels. 3,500, that's... Huh. That's a real specific time period. What is it? Hmm. Give me a second here. Huh. I wonder what's... Let's see what's... That was... Hmm. This is a, let's see, Egypt, that was the reign of uh, Thamosis, conquered Nubian the Levant. 
Oh. Yeah. What? Hmm. That would have been e that's a period of major expansion in Egyptian history. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh I'm gonna have to think about this. Rewind! Centuries earlier, death had already been cheated by a group with much darker intentions and by very different methods. The Atenists. Always looking to pervert and subsume tradition and common beliefs, the Aten cultists conducted a different kind of burial ritual than the customary one, constructed to quicken the dead body in this world rather than in the next, to forever live in the glory of their dark god. Death could not be an escape from the duties of their faith. Rituals and symbolic ceremonies were twisted into something cruel, embracing death instead of life. Funerary texts and magical spells were altered to restrain the deceased rather than guide them to the fields of Aru. Wow, that sounds like... Oh. As close... That sounds like movie Satanism in Egypt. Yeah. Or at least the Egypt equivalent of it. I mean... Like, corrupting everything. Yeah. I mean, it actually kind of sounds like what you see... You know, in like mummy movies, where instead of passing them on to the dead, they le you know they just leave them there. Yeah. Huh. Oh, man, council engineer. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Visual yeah. tracking initiated. If he's around 1500 years, he would have been alive at the time of Akhenaten, maybe. Yes, absolutely would have. Yeah. Interesting. Asian manuscript. Hmm. Any uh, anything inter anything good? I can't read it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it, w it would have been from the New Kingdom. That's where you had like that's where you had like all the real hits of of ancient Egypt. You had. Uh, you had a Tep's foot, you had the Moses, you had a Menotep, you had Akhenaten, you had Tutankhamun, you had Siddi the First, you had Ramses the Great. Basically like, like everything between the pyramids and Cleopatra happened in that period of Egypt. Huh. Well, that's good. Yeah. Now but like 1500s, that but 15. But so if he was around in the reign of Akhenaten, yeah. I mean, give or take. I'm not gonna deal with you right now. But just like. Think of everything he must have seen. Yeah. Mm. He's definitely seen some shit. Yeah. He's seen like that, like hundred generations worth of shit. Let's see what's up with Khalid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to 
find out what else he's got to say. Greetings, child. I should find the page. Oh, find the blue pages. <laughs> Bring me the blue pages! Perhaps I was stupid to believe that the good in this valley had conquered the evil, that the cult of Arten would not rise again, and that the sentinels inside the city of the Sun God could sleep in peace. It is a blessed thing that the Maria were not so trusting. They did not lay down their arms or stop teaching their children the tenets that we wrote down so long ago. And when this calamity befell Egypt once again, they were already here, ready and waiting. Without them, it would have already been over. Evil would have won, and the Arten itself might well have risen. The Maria bought us all time, though the tides of battle shift even now. The city of the Sun God is opened up, and the sentinels within are our last defense against the rebirth of the Black Pharaoh and the dawn of the Sun God. Wow. That's comforting. Quick access inventory updated. What? Not what now? Uh, uh what? Brother, he likes to put on a show. What? <laughs> we have a complicated history. What? But we've learned to coexist in relative peace. What? Me as a restless wanderer, him as a bothersome spirit. That is where our paths uh, diverged. My uh, brother's mine. He escaped into death, while death has escaped me. Uh, um... The awful thing about immortality is that it tends to go on and on forever. You'll see. Uh... This is not the first time Egypt has been struck by Mephistophelian misfortune. I'm sure you know, although it's only been written about the one time. Yeah, that one time. New experience. <laughs> we did get better at covering things up as we went along. Wait, what? As is always the case, there's much to learn from history. The books of the past may contain word of the future. That was one of the tenets of the four and sixty. Four and Our ties what? were severed long ago because they claimed I was too close to those I was supposed to silently observe, that I cared too highly for mortals, as if this was an inexcusable weakness. I've gotten better at it. For example, I could have simply shown you the way, but I shall not. Instead, I might simply mislay my staff where someone could accidentally retrieve it. Also, I might warn you to be on the lookout for brush fire. It would need to be stamped out before it spreads. In my experience, staffs are good for stamping things out. Too much? I'll never get this right. Okay, 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 okay. What? He's... Is... 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 is he... Aaron? 